there's a common myth when it comes to spiritual practice. And even when spiritual teachers or religious leaders don't explicitly say this myth, they lead you to believe that it's true. That myth is that incorporating spiritual practice or prayer or meditation into your life is going to be easy. They don't talk about how difficult and challenging it is for most people, or many, many spiritual teachers and religious leaders don't. But a great deal of people have a challenge in incorporating a spiritual practice into their life on a regular basis. And that's what I want to talk about today. As I do, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos. You know, every year, countless people learn about mindfulness meditation. In their workplaces, HR teaches about mindfulness because it's associated with productivity and good management and good corporate life. There are gyms and yoga studios where people learn about mindfulness. People read books, they watch videos. There's all kinds of information about mindfulness and people know about it. But most people don't practice mindfulness, even when they know about it. And that's just one spiritual practice. Just one I'm using as an example. Why is it that people don't practice mindfulness regularly? Well, it's not because it's a difficult practice. It's a very simple practice. Whatever it is you're doing, just be focused and present in that moment. Whether you're walking or breathing or washing dishes or eating a piece of fruit or whatever it is you're doing, just be focused and do it. Be aware. But many people are caught up in lots of things at once and are multitasking and, and they aren't very mindful. Incorporating the practice is hard. And again, it's not because it's a difficult practice. You know, it's not like you need to know advanced calculus or physics. It's not that you're doing somersaults or handstands. Spiritual practices, by and large, are pretty simple and straightforward. To understand what makes it difficult, looking at an analogy may be helpful. Every year in January, people make a New Year's resolution and that New Year's resolution is often to lose weight and to exercise more. And many people say, you know, this year I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it happen. And they join the gym. They join the health club. They do, they set out to do what they want to do to meet that goal. And they start out really well. And in gyms and health clubs, classes are full. There's a line to get to equipment. But then by mid-February, the gyms, the health clubs, the studios, they're thinning out a bit and they're returning to business as usual. Even though people were really motivated to make their New Year's resolution, they weren't able to continue really doing what it was they wanted to do for their own good, even though they knew the benefit of it. And you see, that's often because it's difficult to change our behavior. It's often difficult to balance our lives. Other things take priorities. We're not used to thinking about our own self-care as an important part of our life. And whether it's working out and exercising or doing a spiritual practice, it's something that we're doing for our own self-care, for our own good. And as we do it for our own good, we then in turn improve the lives of other people because we're healthier people and we're interacting better. So what can you do? What's a way forward to help you incorporate a spiritual practice into your life? I want to suggest three steps. Maybe this will work for you. Maybe this will be helpful. The first thing that I think is important is to make a commitment to yourself that you want to do a very particular practice and you're doing it for you. You're doing it for your growth, for your well-being, for whatever part of yourself is important to you. So make that commitment. That has to be the first step. Secondly, 
make a plan. When are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? Schedule it. Put it on your calendar if you need to. You know, for me, my core spiritual practice is every morning. I get dressed in the morning, make my cup of coffee, and then I go to my study and sit in a particular chair. And that's where I do my prayer and meditation for 20 to 30 minutes every morning. That's my core practice. Yes, I do other practices during the day. And depending on my schedule, some of those happen and some of them don't. But I always, always do that first morning period. That's the commitment to myself. That's what I'm going to do. And I have a plan to make it happen. Somebody who sees me for spiritual direction recently told me that their time is at 10 o'clock every night. At 10 o'clock, he does meditation for a half hour. And that's what works for him. Now, that wouldn't work for me. If I was doing meditation at 10 p.m., I can assure you that by 10.05, I'd be sound asleep. I'd be looking for somebody to tuck me in. So you need to do what's going to work for you. So make a concrete plan of what's going to work. Thirdly, find support from others. Tell other people you're doing this, family members, friends, whoever, people you can trust. Ask for their encouragement. Tell them it's important to you. Maybe you need to sign on to some groups, some social media groups, like a Facebook group or some other group, of people doing spiritual practices to share about doing your practice, to look for encouragement. Work with a spiritual director. A spiritual director is a great resource to help you refine your, your practice as well as to help you keep yourself accountable. A good spiritual director should help you keep yourself accountable because the commitment you made to yourself is really important. Those are some ways that you can begin to really incorporate spiritual practice into your life, to make it a priority, to make it part of your life. And when you do, not only do you enhance your own life, you experience greater peace, greater wholeness, greater clarity, experience the health benefits from it, but you also begin to move in a way in the world that's better for other people, that brings greater peace into the world and become more of a joy for other people to be with. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, leave me some comments, and know that I really appreciate the time you take on Spirituality Beyond Borders. Thanks. Have a really great day.